Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me. Of course, yours truly, Don McKay, in here on the all-new Radio on Fire.com and on Fire Television. So much to get into today. So much. Uh, earlier this week, the uh, I mean, I mean this, this could be good news or bad news, depending on uh, where you sit uh, with regards to this. Uh, but in the U.S., the clearance, the final clearance was given for COVID-19 shots for kids 5 to 11 years old. So health officials gave that final sign-off on Pfizer's kid size COVID-19 shot. This is a milestone. This opens up major expansion for the nation's vaccine campaign to children as young as five. Now, of course, the doses that they are giving to the young ones is not the same level of potency uh, as what they are giving to adults. So parents, are you excited about this? Are you happy to give your children this shot? That is the question. That is the question that we have. We're going to get into that and uh, talk about that a little bit more. Take a quick break. 10 seconds. Okay, we're back in here. Your man, Dami K, at the Dami K Show. At Radio on Fire, we are talking about COVID-19 vaccine for kids. Earlier this week, that was approved. The FDA had already authorized the shots, doses, uh, just a third of the amount given to teens and adults. Uh, the CDC formally recommends who should receive FDA cleared vaccines. So the announcement by the CDC came only hours after the advisory panel unanimously unanimously decided that Pfizer's shots would be opened to the 28 million youngsters in that age group. If you're a parent, is this something that you are going to give your children? This is the first opportunity that Kids, Americans under 12 years old, got to get the protection of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I know different people sit somewhere different. Uh, but, you know, uh, as far as parents, I guess I encourage you to talk to your pediatrician, talk to your school nurse, talk to your pharmacist, uh, and uh, make your decision. Uh, but I, I'm interested to find out whether or not parents are going to do this. President Joe Biden called this decision a turning point. And we, we talked about Joe Biden. Joe Biden's, uh, he's got a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> I don't know. Joe Biden has a lot of things going on right now. Uh, but uh, according to the president, this uh, recommendation from the uh, FDA and the uh, CDC will allow parents to end months of anxious worrying about their kids and reduce the extent to which children spread the virus to others. He said this in a statement. He continued by saying that it is a major step forward for our nation in our fight to defeat the virus. So as it relates to that, the Academy of the American Academy of Pediatrics welcomed the decision. They're excited about it. Uh, its members are getting ready to start the first injections into arms, these little little bitty arms, soon as possible, they said. Uh, so five to 11-year-olds, what are they going to get? What 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 is the potency of the dose? They're going to receive two low doses three weeks apart. Uh, the max, the vaccine, of course, made by Pfizer and its partner, BioNTech. Uh, that's the same schedule that everybody else 
uh, all the other you know teens and adults are getting. They're going to use a smaller needle. And uh, Pfizer over the weekend began shipping millions of pediatric size shots to different states, doctors, um, their offices, pharmacies, et cetera, et cetera, in orange caps and went to avoid mix-ups with the purple capped vials for the adults. So hopefully there's not going to be any kind of switch-ups. Uh, obviously, kids can't take the same level of uh, this drug. So members of the advisory panel said that they want parents to ask about the shots. They're you know, thankfully trying to get uh, these parents to understand that they are far better than doing this, uh, according to the uh, the CDC, uh, than gambling with their child and gambling with if this uh, unvaccinated child could escape the serious coronavirus infection. So they want you to do this as opposed to gambling with not having the child vaccinated. As for safety, more than 106 million Americans have safely gotten two doses of Pfizer's full strength shot, including more than 7 million 12 to 15 year olds. So as I said, this 5 to 11 uh, age group is getting a much smaller dose of this. Is, is Are you going to vaccinate your kids? Definitely uh, hit me up on Twitter. Instagram at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire. Uh, in the U.S., there have been more than 8,300 COVID related hospitalizations for kids ages 5 to 11. 8,300. 8, uh, that's about a third requiring intensive care, according to government data. The CDC has recorded at least 94 deaths in that age group. So uh, this is the numbers that they're pointing to to try to encourage folks to get their kids vaccinated. Uh, the study was not that large, though. FDA examined more children. Now, Pfizer's uh, study of 22 168 youngsters found that the kid size vaccine is nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic COVID-19. So based on 16 doses among kids given dummy shots compared to just three who got the real vaccination. So uh, the FDA, as I said, examined more children. Their total was about 3,100 who were vaccinated. And in concluding, the shots are safe. That's what they said. The younger children experience similar or fewer reactions. Uh, what you would expect, a sore arm, fever, achiness. Uh, the teens and the young adults, you know, after they got larger doses. So the kids had similar or fewer reactions, the 5 to 11 group. Now, the study wasn't large enough to detect any uh, extremely rare side effect, such as uh, heart inflammation that occasionally occurs after the second full strength dose, mostly in young men and teenage boys. And uh, the regulators ult ultimately decided the benefits from vaccination outweigh the potential that younger kids getting a smaller dose might experience that rare risk. So that, that's how they determine these things. It, they sample a very small group and say, yeah, we think it's okay. Uh, but uh, that's, where, that's where we're at. Uh, some CDC advisors say that for some parents deciding to get their children vaccinated may hinge on that small but scary risk. So a uh, few countries have begun using other COVID-19 vaccines in children under 12, including China, which just began vaccinations for three-year-olds. But many use that Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, and uh, they're watching this U.S. decision around the world. Uh, European regulators just began considering the company's kid-sized doses 
so America, I guess, leading the leading the way with regards to this vaccines in younger children. So CDC calculated that for every 500,000 kid vaccinated, between 18,000 and 58,000 COVID-19 cases between 80 and 226 hospitalizations in that age group would be prevented. That's what they're saying, prevented, depending on the pandemic's trajectory. So you could be helping not only your child, but, you know, your community by doing this, according to CDC numbers. So the CDC officials noted that COVID-19 has caused more deaths in this age group than some other disease diseases, such as the chicken pox did before children were routinely vaccinated against them. So they're speaking highly of this and... Time's going to tell. I, I hope that everything works out. If I had a child 5 to 11, would I give them this vaccine? I'm going to probably say yes. I, we gave them the other vaccines, right? And uh, we did not know what was in the other vaccines. We did not know. So uh, I definitely would not want my child to get COVID. And if this could prevent it in some type of a way, I would do it. Now, that's me, all right? And, and I don't have a child, but if I did, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, of course, you don't have to do this, but I, you know, I want you to think about it and consult your doctor, consult uh, pediatrician, consult uh, the pharmacist, and then you make your decision. But if someone does not do it, I don't think that they should be demonized. It's your choice to do to do that. That that's what's happening here, uh, and that's what this country is supposed to be all about. And of course, here on the program, we deliver the biggest political and trending news stories of the day with interviews and original reporting from across this country, emanating from our studios in Baltimore and Atlanta. I am currently in Baltimore right now. Uh, the show is fun. The show is upbeat, but I also need to expose what is really happening in this country and of course the diamond case show episodes drop monday through friday 8 a.m and throughout the day as news happens i don't want you to miss any of our live broadcasts in addition to our 8 a.m program we drop content throughout the day as news happens however you're hearing this or watching this hit that notification bell so you get an alert whenever we go live of course you can follow the diamond case show on our facebook page and uh, click that notification bell, as I said, so you get that alert. The Diamond Case Show is a Radio on Fire production. You get the show on demand at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, WRF Radio, the app. Uh, also on YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. And um, I also have a project out there called Bernie's Avenue on Apple Music and everything. Uh, search Diamond K. And, uh, you know, check that out. Radio Fire, of course, is an advertiser supported audio and video network. You can get breaking news, podcasts, TV shows covering topics that are important to our culture. Radio Fire is where you discover, engage, and connect with the latest news, podcasts, and, of course, our original TV programs. You want to support the Diamond Case Show uh, and this digital network, head on over to RadioOnFire.com, grab a T-shirt, some other merch, Become a sponsor of the Diamond K Show for as low as $50. I'm able to deliver our news and our views on this program because of our listeners and our sponsors. Radio on Fire is powered by the people, and we appreciate your support. I will be back here tomorrow with more of our breakdown of the news. Mm -hmm.